it's Cheryl, brand strategist and graphic designer behind Made on Sunday Studio, a relaxed and inspired studio space for all things branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a beautiful scrolling graphic right on Canva, no design experience needed. You can use these graphics to showcase your website, your client's website, or even just a new blog post coming up. Really anything that can be recorded on your computer screen or on your phone screen. So let's dive right into my computer and let's do this together. Before you can get started on creating your beautiful scrolling video graphic on Canva, obviously you need a Canva account. Now, if you don't have an account yet or you're unfamiliar with it, uh, Canva is an all-in-one design program or website um, that's pretty much completely free. Uh, they're free plan includes everything you really need to be able to do on Canva uh, for basic designs. Uh, but I do highly recommend everyone to use the pro account or upgrade to the pro account uh, if you are creating a lot of different graphics. Uh, we talk a lot about branding on this channel and with the pro account you're able to install your brand kit on Canva which is a great feature. It also includes a ton of additional free templates and graphics uh, for you to use and some of the graphics that I'll show you later on will only be available on the pro account. So if you need account, go to my links below and you can sign up for your account today. All right, now that you have your Canva account, let's get into Canva to design your graphics. Now, these are the graphics that we're gonna be creating today. The first one is a beautiful photography of a laptop with your scrolling graphic. The next one will be um, another beautiful photography with a phone and also your scrolling graphic. And then this is an example of just a graphic without photography um, that you can create. Let's say you don't have photography that you want to use and you just want a branded background. That's also an option. And then this last one is of an iPad mock-up. All right, first things first, in order to create your video graphic, you're going to need to create this video right here. Uh, it's a video of you scrolling through your website, whether it is on your laptop or computer or on your phone. So in order to record your laptop, um, I'm using a MacBook, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on a MacBook. Um, you're gonna go to your QuickTime player that should be in your applications. I believe it comes with your computer. And then you're gonna go up here to file and uh, new screen recording. It's gonna open this little uh, taskbar down here and you're gonna go to record entire screen and then click on record. And obviously make sure your website is open to the page that you want to record. And it actually started recording already. So I'm just gonna start scrolling through slowly, just like that, to wherever you wanna stop. And then you just click on the stop button at the top. And then that, you've already created your video. There we go. It also recorded my audio, but uh, when you, you can actually not record the audio and you can also, um, even if your audio is on, it won't actually play um, the audio on Canva. So, okay, now that you have this video, you can save it wherever you need to. And then you can go into Canva, go to uploads, and then drag your video into your uploads and it will show into your video section. Now to do the same on your iPhone, you're just gonna turn on your iPhone and then you pull down um, I have an iPhone 11, so hopefully, uh, I don't know if it's if you're pulling down or pulling up or however you open this screen here. Um, you're just gonna click on the record button right here, and then it's gonna start recording. So make sure you have your website open, and then now you're just going to scroll through. And then when you're done, 
you just stop it and there you go you have your recording and then you can uh, save it or send it over to your laptop and then you do the same thing and you just drag that video into your upload section on Canva and now you have a screen recording of your laptop video and your phone video. All right, so let's start with a fresh new design. For today's video, we're gonna be creating an Instagram post, but you can really use any of these different dimensions for your needs. Let's open a fresh new canvas. So the first graphic that we're gonna make has a laptop a photo in the background so we're just gonna go into photos here and look for a great image now uh, because we're looking for a computer photo I'm just gonna type in computer and see what we find here now you might not see all of the photos stock photos that I see here uh, because I am on the pro account but you will see a couple options. Now, any of these photos here are free to use, so feel free to use them for your social media. So this, I really like this image because uh, I love the little details. So I'm just gonna drag it in here and expand the photo. I'm just gonna make it a tiny bit bigger so I can see my screenshot better and then center it there. I think it could be even a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna go like that and then center it again there we go okay sorry that's not center <laughs> is that better yes that's better all right so uh, next up we need to create or drag in the video into this area now, right now, you're not gonna be able to drag it in because this is just a still image. So we're gonna go to elements and create a placeholder. So go into grids here and you're gonna see this first square box. Now, right now, it automatically fills a whole screen, but you're just gonna drag it and you're going to place it right on top of the laptop screen so that it fits uh, the dimensions just like that so that looks good if you need to adjust it that's fine too you can just drag these and make it perfect or you can click on it and then use your arrow screen to kind of move it slightly into place perfect so that looks good all right so i think i had my video uploaded right here so um if you're on images you're gonna not be able to see the video uploaded so I just have to click on videos and there's a video so I'm just gonna grab this one right here which is my website and there we go super quick super easy and you can just click on play up top and you can see the video come to life okay let's create the next image so um, if you just go to add a page it's actually going to duplicate this but we're not going to use that so we need a phone now so we're going to go back to photos and type in phone and see if we can find another cute image okay i really like this one so we're going to click that and we're going to make this bigger now a quick hack is to actually just drag this one and then make it fit there we go that looks really great um, it needs to be bigger though so I'm just gonna do that I think that's about a good size right there um, now again this is a still image so you can't drag your video in we're just gonna need to go to grids and create a placeholder again now this one is diagonal, so you're gonna need to hold this right here to make sure that it's aligned. And then try your best to fit it into the box or the size of the screen. And that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna move it over a tiny bit and back a tiny bit. <laughs> All right, so that looks good. So you're gonna drag your video the phone screen version of it right into that placeholder right there 
that looks perfect let's play it just to make sure it all looks good whoops there we go it looks awesome all right let's create our third graphic so again i'm just going to delete this this time i want to create a branded graphic uh, so I'm just gonna go to my brand colors here and I can choose any color but for this one I'm gonna use yellow and instead of finding a photo this time I'm gonna go to elements and also type in a laptop see what I find so I really like this one right here this is actually already has a placeholder which is awesome that's a little bit big <laughs> I'm going to make it around that size perfect now you can keep it as is or you can actually change the color of the laptop I actually like the gold MacBook uh, I think they're like yeah the MacBooks um, so you can change it to um, like a yellow like a gold color just approximate it doesn't really matter too much um, let's just do it as that for now <laughs> i think this needs to be lighter though there we go so an approximate gold color you can probably match a better gold color than i can here um perfect and then we're just gonna grab that video again and put it right in this time we don't have to create our own placeholder it already comes with one so this is a really great option to do it quickly and then right now this looks uh kind of boring right now so i'm just going to grab my own brand elements into here and if you have branding for your um some graphic elements for your branding uh, i would suggest to do so as well so i'm just going to go into my photos and drag in this one right here i think that looks really cute as a background and then make sure that this is at the back um like that and i'm just gonna do it again duplicate it and turn it the right positioning like that perfect that is super cute let's just watch it and make sure it looks good awesome that looks perfect and then our last graphic we are actually going to create an ipad version so again this time I used a photo, but instead of having, um, I actually combined a photo of a background and a graphic. So I'm just gonna look for desk. Um, and I really like this one right here. I think I can put an iPad on top of this desk. I like how minimal it looks, so I'm just gonna maximize it and I think that looks pretty good I'm gonna go into elements and type in iPad and let's scroll down to see if there's a good one here ah this one I really like this one now these are pro only available when you're on the pro account but obviously you can look for free versions of them online or if you go to free I mean, this one, these ones are free. You can probably pick this one and then change the color to uh, white or any color that you like. But for us, I'm gonna be using the pro version. I think this looks really good. And then this one is just an image. So again, we're gonna have to put the placeholder in. Just make sure this is on the front. And then drag it into the dimensions that looks really good and then for iPads I find it looks best with the iPhone version of the recording and there we go let's just scroll through all of them once we got the laptop with the photography background we got the iPhone with another beautiful photography background. We got the custom graphic with a laptop graphic. 
And then last but not least, we have the iPad graphic with a beautiful photography background. And that's it. To save these, all you have to do is go to download up here and it's gonna go to automatically video. Um, so you don't have to touch that. And then uh, if you just click on download right now, it's gonna download all four of the graphics into one big video and we don't want that. So we want it as separate graphics. So you're just gonna have to download one at a time, page one, go to download, Perfect, and then we can open our graphic and there you go. Now you have created a beautiful scrolling video graphic on Canva. And that is how you create a scrolling video graphic right on Canva, no design experience needed. Now, I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are wanting more video tutorials like this. I cover on topics all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship. So if there are any specific topics that you want to see in future videos, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a lovely day.